<laughs> Hello! Thanks for joining us. Okay, so we've got one Halloween makeup done here earlier, and now we're going to do a half skull. So it's going to be hopefully nice and quick, not too long. I don't actually like this half skull we've got up here, so I'm going to choose a different one and um, see if I can go for something that looks a little bit better. Hi, Ori! Okay, so we're going to go for a half skull. I'm just getting up some reference photos quickly first. So that I've got a, something to go by. Okay. Um, and we're going to go straight in, drawing kind of an outline with the black first. So I tend to use um, Aquacolor face paints and I don't want to go straight down the face. Actually, I'll probably use the smaller brush here. I might go a tiny bit more on the black face now. I guess I don't know where I'm going to go with the skull. Um, I'm going to go in with the black first around the eye, just for the eye socket, so if you just close your eyes. And just open so you see where down to. Okay, so we're just going to get that on and then we're going to get the white on first. Hi Hannah, thanks for joining us. Just going to do a half skull quick Halloween makeup so that all those trick and treaters that knock on the door have got a nice scary person to um, answer the door to them. So white tends to get quite patchy, um, you have to get a really good consistency. I'm just going to take that down a little bit. Excuse me, I sound a bit sorry. And we've got Seb on um, door duty. Seb, I can hear the first trick or treaters about to knock on the door. Nice and scary with a spider hanging up at the front <laughs> so that they get a little bit too scared to knock on our door. Piece of it, man. <laughs> I'm just going to take that up to the line there. And going with a slightly smaller brush because we're closer to the eye now. And just look up for me. How many sweets have we let them have? Yeah. Two. Did you let them take a handful? Yeah. We've got quite a lot of sweets, so two. you can let them take so a three. handful. Let them take those disgusting ones. <laughs> You're live, Alessandro. We don't give away disgusting sweets in this house. <laughs> All sweets are top quality sweets that get given out in our house. <laughs> well, no, they're not disgusting. Just you don't like them. <laughs> okay, so just want a little bit more of that white to really get that consistency, just kind of builds up a little bit there. And always at the beginning you're just kind of mapping it all out for where you want it to go rather than actually trying to get it too perfect. Yeah. 
okay, people come and go and watch it later once it's posted and everything. And there's one person with us, you can see in the top corner. Okay, starting to get that white consistency there. Well, look up and stop frowning. <laughs> stop pulling faces. It's hard enough doing face paint on children. I'm a teenager that raises his eyebrows and frowns all the time. I don't. <laughs> hmm? I'll step the blue torch just on the other side on the floor of those doors. Okay. So, let's go with that black again. Where? On the floor, on the other side of the doors. Oh, the blue doors? Yeah. Can I just open? Okay. So, I'm going to start just kind of mapping out the jaw. Got an itch. Jaw. Got an itch, Got an itch. In that ear? Yeah. Where? Yeah, <laughs> Got an itchy ear working with kids. Hi Debbie, thanks for joining us. So, um, can you pull a fish face? What's that? Who did that? No, suck your cheeks in. That's it. So, just gonna get the actual jawline where it is because you need to work with the bone structure. That you're actually going to be working on um, in which case it's best to feel where the jaw is when you're actually going to be drawing it and just relax okay so we've got our mark in there and that's where it all hollows out there okay and i'm just going to look for a few different skulls My first smaller brush, uh, Debbie. I'm going to send the boys around to you next year. They look fab, <laughs> more than merrier. Going to have to start off early though because I'm running out of time today. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to start on the teeth a little bit here. So just part your lips a little bit, open them a little bit, and open a little bit. <laughs> And just relax now. That's it. Not really tight, just relax as normal. <laughs> <laughs> the teeth are not going to go well if you're laughing the whole time. Okay. So. Did you put the torch in the plastic bag? No. Well, when I was watching it, I don't think. Oh my word, Alessandro, please don't laugh your head off the whole time. Stop Start off with the teeth like so. Teeth always look a little bit naff when you're starting them off. And then they look so much better later. Right, 
Okay, so that's the start of it, just kind of mapping it all out at the moment. Didn't you just see the blue one on the floor on the other side of the doors? Oh, the white one? The yeah. In in the um, dining room. Okay, so we're just going to play with the tea for a little bit, just... Just a bigger brush for now. come in with a smaller brush to get the white teeth really white Okay, so that's going to start coming together in a minute. Hi Harriet, happy Halloween. Just getting Alessandro ready nice and quickly. bigger brush there. You ready to go and meet up are you? Yeah. I'll go and have a little look one minute. How about when someone comes? Can I have a Oh, what? Uh, so you say hello, they go, huh? Actually, you actually just yet, you can fly. Oh, hey. This one said, I don't know if it works or not. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oops, I'm a little bit slippery. Wait, did that not work? Doesn't yeah. matter. Um, okay, so. I'm sure, all you have it.
disturb some people might knock on the side. You get the door, Seb. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so that's coming down there on the half. And we're just going to <laughs> Kids try it on these days. Oh, can I get one for me? And can I just get one for my friends, please? Because, you know, they can come out trick-or-treating. It's like, hmm, are you sure that's for your friends? You've got to say yes, I don't you? <laughs> you do have to say yes. And quite frankly, we have got quite a lot of sweets and we do need to get rid of them all. Especially with chocolate. Because they're not all for you to eat. No matter what you think. Now he goes with his friend CJ. Yeah, the Can you strain your neck a little bit? Like, clinch your jaw. I'm just going to take it around. That's it. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, relax. <clears throat> Why is that a little bit like wonky at the top? Because it's coming out from the skin being a little bit wonky. Is that? Okay, so before we start getting work on all the shadow and everything, we're just going to do a few little cracks here and there. Always make sure you do it quite freehand when you're doing the cracks. That was sweet before he gets here. Before he gets here? Oh, they they'll repeat those. I'm not on that. Am I not? Am I quite hard to do face paint on? Why? Because you move a lot. Oh yeah. Okay. Right, so we're gonna go in with the black shadow next. <gasps> Stop. Stop doing that. It's like gurning. Do a creepy clown impression. <laughs> Why don't you do that for mummy's pictures? <laughs> what are you doing? Sophie from your year, and oh. she's got Joseph and oh, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, Sophie yeah. from your year, and close your eyes. Was there a Sophie in the Sawyer's year? Yeah, not in my class. So the shadow just basically adds depth 
um, and just makes everything a little bit more smudgy so it can all be acceptable. So this black that I'm using has got a little bit of silver glitter in, just gives it another dimension. And of course we know that you love glitter, Alessandro. Add some red. <laughs> we'll add some red later. I just need to still do this a little bit. Because are we almost done? Almost done, yes. Okay. Just put your chin up for me a little bit. more of that shadow just around the teeth here. Might just get a little bit of the eyeliner, just do a few tiny little cracks and then you want some red. Do you want some red for what coming down here? Yeah. Okay. Is there anywhere else that you want red? I don't know. Okay. I've got the imagination of something. You don't have imagination, no? No. I'm pretty sure we all have imagination. You know, this person's a quality makeup artist because the two people <laughs> who've not, the two people who've not, yeah, they've, they've um, all said that my costume's amazing and my, my face is very good. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> He's not biased at all. <laughs> okay, so just going in a tiny little bit with some little cracks here. Oh, I know, we need a bit of shading there as well. Just to bring that out. So if someone's going to knock... Yeah, there's some with a light as well. Oh. Nearly done, Alessandro. Okay. 
Gonna get a little bit of that red. So I can hear him out of sight in the window. Say, I can hear him. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally outside our window. <laughs> no, he's Seth. outside the window. Seb, he's outside the window. Just open the door and wave at him. Who? Ollie, who are you talking to? Ollie, are you outside the window? We can hear him. Seb, we can <laughs> hear him. He's shouting. Thanks, sorry. I reckon we're done. Just going to do a little bit of um, red kind of blush. Um, just down the side there, just where it meets. Nearly. He's impatient. He's nearly oh, done. Hurry up. Just gonna clean up the other half of the face a tiny bit. It's already clean. No, just from makeup, not from your skin being dirty or anything. You'll come and knock on our door in a bit, yeah? Okay, I'm going to let Andrew um, go and answer the door. Thank you for joining us. Glad you liked it. Uh, it's always tricky doing children. They move, they get impatient, they want you to be as fast as possible. So um, probably should have gone a bit faster. But I'm going to take a few photos of Alessandro and um, upload those as well. And um, if I have the time and inclination, I will be doing a little demonstration of makeup on myself a little bit later. Um, and yeah, we'll go live with that as well. Thanks for joining us. Bye.